Wednesday, March 13th, and today I want to talk about a group of people who are trapped in some way, shape, or form. Either they're trapped or they're very stupid, because I can't imagine why these people who have to spend huge amounts of money to do the stupid thing that I'm going to talk about continue to do it. And I'm talking about those people that have to fly around this country in Boeing aircraft. Now, Boeing shouldn't even be putting planes out the way that their company is operating now. And the times, the number of different incidents that have occurred with Boeing aircraft, the manufacturing process seems to be failing every which way, putting lives in danger. And so what I'm talking about when I mention these stupid people who have to fly, why are they choosing to fly on a Boeing aircraft? And it's quite possible they really don't have much choice. But I would think if you have a choice, you better take it. Because from from what I've been reading about Boeing, it is not safe to go up in the air with them. And I will give you this information right now, so that if you're intending to fly anywhere, then you should be very careful about who you choose to fly with. Make sure that you're not flying on a Boeing air. Because listen to this, a pilot of a terrifying, I don't know, LATAM Airlines flight from Australia to New Zealand this week told the people on board that he temporarily lost control of his Boeing 787 after one of its instruments failed. That's what a passenger told people on Monday. The episode resulted in a sudden drop that threw travelers around the cabin about 50 people were injured with one person in serious condition. And in another incident, United Airlines on Monday reported that it's it's number five, its fifth incident in a week after one of those Boeing 777-300 aircraft carrying 183 passengers and crew was forced to turn around due to a maintenance issue. And last week, imagine this, last week an engine ingested bubble wrap that caught fire while another fight lost a, a tire after takeoff. If you listen to these stories, you would be afraid to fly, period. Now, I flew a lot when I was working, and I don't ever remember having a problem like these problems. I think in all the time I flew, I was really lucky. I was only delayed a couple of times, and those times were due to weather, weather causing the flight to come in late or something like that. I never had any mechanical issues on any of the flights that I flew on. And maybe, maybe in those days they took greater care worrying about the passengers and the lives at stake. I don't know what it is, but Boeing is in big trouble right now. Very, very big trouble because I understand there's a court case that's coming up soon. Oh, something that, so now something is happening that should have probably happened a long time ago. This is the anniversary of a fatal 737 and Max Crash. And the victims' families want more focus on Boeing's potential safety problems. So there is a group of people who want something done about Boeing's lax safety issues. On March 10th in 2019, a Boeing 737 MAX 8 plunged into the ground outside of Addis Ababa in Ethiopia six minutes after after it took off. He knew that this plane was a troubled plane because less than six months before this accident, aviation authorities around the world had allowed the 737 MAX to keep flying with passengers. So the airlines are not doing their job. When you look back at the anniversary of the March 10th incident, 
It's a difficult one for the family of the hundred of the hundred and fifty seven people on board that plane who die because now the concerns over Boeing safety and quality have been in the news so much for the last two months. It brings back m- bad memories for those hundred and fifty seven people's families. So I don't know what Boeing has been doing for the last five years in terms of consumer safety because on January 5th this year, a side of the plane blew out, and luckily this plane was able to land without any casualty. But why would anybody in their right mind fly a Boeing plane at this point in time? I mean, they are a major manufacturer, but they should be put to bed. Boeing has announced steps to improve safety and quality since this latest incident, including an all-employee safety meeting the week following the blowout, and shutting production down at the Max factory for a day later in the month to talk about how to improve safety. But the Federal Aviation Administration is finally not satisfied. The regulators have given Boeing 90 days to come up with a plan to deal with the safety gap. And what's going to happen in those 90 days? They should be shut down until they come up with this safety gap and until they can prove that this safety they got really work because every time you turn around there's an incident lately so the families of the Ethiopian crash victims have been have welcomed the intense regulatory scrutiny on Boeing following the January door blowout but I don't know if they've done enough I don't know if Boeing is feeling the true pressure on them to get this thing straightened out properly what if people refuse to fly Boeing aircraft would that solve the situation? Or maybe that would put them out of business and they would deserve it. You know, flying in an airplane can be very relaxing, but not if you're hanging out the window waiting for something bad to happen. You can't relax on an airplane anymore. And in my mind, it's taken way too long for the airline regulators or whoever takes care of the airline for waiting five years to put the screws to bow it. The problems including de-icing equipment that could fail on certain flights, engine issues on other flights, and repeated quality control concerns for another plane's fuselage. These things fail to capture the attention from the public. But in my mind, the aviation authority in this country should be on top of this problem. And they have failing, failing us. Somebody should have been shining a spotlight on these safety concerns for years now. So what's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know, but Boeing is under tremendous scrutiny. It would be smart for them to close the plants for two years or something and get all of this crap straightened out. Because this is a smoking gun. And when the world wakes up to the true exposure that Boeing is being exposed, then maybe something good will happen. But meanwhile, Boeing has gotten away with murder. i leave you with that this morning. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.